um, apparently, you know, this is a thing. Uh, a four point six million dollar uh, bottle of water. Yeah. So apparently that's that's like a thing. So we're going to talk about it. World's most expensive bottle of water costs a whopping four point six million dollars and will only quench the thirst of billionaires. Oh, yes. I mean, look at that. Look, it, that is that that is worth four point six million dollars. Now, we got to find out exactly what is in this water. Whose bath water, whose toilet water is this? You know what I'm saying? The world's most expensive water is like a glittering oxymoron selling for $4.6 million. While a necessity like water and the word expensive shouldn't even feature in the same sentence, we admittedly live in a world that loves to augment basics. Hence, the tributo modigliani. See, I'm not even sophisticated to to even fucking pronounce that word. You know, I'm I'm a fucking normie and a brokey. I, I, I don't even know. It's, it's fucking alien to me. Hence the tributo Madigliani. See, I struggled again. I'm, I'm not worthy of this water. Tributo Madigliani. There you go. Now, now I'm fucking worthy. Now I am worthy. Oh, oh, that was just the first half of it. That was just the first half of it. The tributo Madigliani diamond sterling. Yes, there we go. Exists with its eye-watering, mouth-drying price tag. Aqua de Cristal. Oh, see, look, look at me. Look at me. Aqua de, Cri Aqua de Cristallo Tributo. Uh, I, man, fuck this bullshit. I don't even know what the fuck language this is. The, the AKA, the way too goddamn fucking expensive bottle of water. That's what that means is water sourced from Fiji and France's natural springs and contains actual glacier water from Iceland. There's glitz inside as well. Owing to five milligrams of 23 karat gold dust sprinkled into the water. What would drinking gold dust do? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't. Yeah. Again, I, what would that do? I, I don't know what that would do, but it doesn't seem exactly like it would be. It, it, it would be something that you should willingly do to yourself. I can't imagine people actually drink this water, but you know, this is like, this is here. We'll read the rest in a sec, but this shit is like the epitome of like, like a Elon Musk type of person or like a very overly wealthy type of just goofy motherfucker who like really is trying desperately hard to win over the affections of some woman who's only with him because he has a lot of cool shit, but she's not even really with him like that. She's just open to, you know, taking advantage of the situation. Cause why not? You can't even blame me. You can't even fault for it. Go ahead and get, do your thing, baby. You know, but like I, I can't even be mad at her. And then he like takes her onto like this, just this, this glorious walkthrough of this museum of weird bullshit that he's, that he's purchased for himself. And then he takes her and he's like, no, I've been saving this best thing for last. And then he, and then he takes her into like this fucking cave, this glittering cave. And then in, in the back, there's like this Indiana Jones type of shit. And, and, and then he, you know, th th there's this water and he's like going on and on about how much money he spent on it and how expensive she, it, it is. And, and the whole time she's like not sexually aroused whatsoever. And she's just like calculating in her brain, like, what exactly, you know, like, well, shit, I'm here. So I might as well figure out a way to, you know, fuck it. You know, well, what are we going to do here? Are we going to go left or are we going to go right? Like, you know, I, I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but this guy, you know, but yeah, that, that is literally, I mean, who the fuck else would really buy some shit like this besides some weird fucking, oh, the presence of gold makes the water more alkaline than regular water, which contributes to the massive pricing. The gold sprinkled water allegedly provides more energy than normal water. However, it is not only the content of the Guinness World Record holder of the world's most expensive water, tequila and mezcal bottles, but also its construction that makes it edible for the elite. Oh, look at that. That is, oh my God. We, we, nah, see, that's, we, we just, we're not, we're not good enough. That look like some cheap ass fucking Christian Korean beauty store bullshit. You go in there and they got this 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 big case of all this 
glittery ass shit. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all just arbitrary. You know, who the fuck out of here, man? The handmade glass bottle designed by Fernando Altamirano. A Mexican designer is a tribute to the late Italian artist Amadeo Clemente Modigliani and is crafted out of platinum that is studded with 6,000 high quality diamonds. Well, there you go. There you go. There you go. The Aqua di Cristo. The, see, there we go. Uh, I'm not even going to try to read this. The, like I said before, way t- the way too fucking goddamn expensive bottle of water was sold for $60,000 in 2010. The funds raised from this sale were donated to charity to battle the cause of global warming. Well, I, I guess there's something positive out of that. You know, I mean, but hey, that, that that's what I see, you know, why not? You know, th- this is that we're going to we're going to cover a lot of stuff on luxury launches because there's just so much stuff on here. That's like pretty crazy. We covered this before, you know, Saudi Arabia. Oh, we're going to spend half a trillion dollars on a desert ski resort. Like, oh, that's that, that that's a great idea. You know, that that that's that's totally a good idea.